Piracy has long been prevalent in the Tantalus Cluster. Over centuries of spaceflight and the development of increasingly far-flung colonies, the practical oversight and regulation of armed spacecraft has become essentially non-existent, with great numbers of military surplus craft and military-grade weapon mounts falling through the cracks and finding their ways into the hands of criminals. The threat of simple independent pirate ships has been universal for almost as long as the Assembly has existed, but piracy in the Cluster has expanded far beyond this level, with organised pirate bands maintaining rogue space stations and even raiding fleets in the more lawless areas of Tantalus. For much of its life, the Centrum Defence Force has found its main enemy in the form of rampant pirate bands, with notable conflicts including the fierce struggle with the forces of the pirate king Jocastus Halpern across the Valeria and Vidara systems in the 170s PCU. The emergence of the Mauritian Freehold did much to accelerate the state of piracy in Tantalus, as Mauritians consider it a principle of their culture to engage in business transactions with almost literally any customer, with even less regulation on the trade of weapons than even the minimal oversight practiced within the assembly. This has allowed pirate bands to purchase armed spacecraft wholesale, as well as maintaining a supply of ordnance and materials for constructing hideouts and stations. The Great Famine has brought piracy to its apex in Tantalus, with the additional motive of appropriating stocks of food, granting even even greater determination to pirate crews. Pirate bands were able to grow significantly in strength while the CDF and Union militia were distracted by their decade of war, and following the war's end, the drastically limited supply of warships remaining to either nation have left these pirates almost completely unchallenged, leaving almost any form of travel and cargo transportation in Outer Tantalus a highly dangerous endeavour.